Hello, wonderful people. Welcome back to my channel, The Teacher's Best Friend. So this is Mary Lou Areño. In today's episode, I'm going to present to you the ladder of success. I know that some of you, you're dreaming to go to the United States to teach in a J-1 visa. And um, for now, I believe you already submitted a lot of applications to different schools and waiting for interview. And some of you were already interviewed and uh, received job offers. So it, it's, it's a different situation, I know. And I believe um, some of you are disappointed because you are not receiving a call or you did not make it to the interview. So let's find out the secret of the ladder of success. Are you ready? Let's begin. So what if your ultimate goal is to teach in the United States? You are wishing to teach in the United States for so long and you don't know how to begin. And um, what if you are not yet qualified? That is why you don't get the job. So those are some of the situations that other people are into. Uh, they are not yet qualified for the position or they did not meet the requirements of the visa. So, and also, what if you did not get it in your, in your uh, first interview, even though you submit a lot of applications and you were interviewed and you were turned down and you feel bad because you did not get the job. So let's learn from Albert Einstein. You know, he said, I think and think for months and years, 99 times the conclusion is false and the hundred time I am right. So if Albert Einstein did not give up until the hundred times and uh, be successful, I wish all of us will learn from that. But I'm not saying that we need to fail hundred times before we get our ultimate goal or our dream job, okay? So those are just some motivation for us not to give up on our dreams, okay? Let's look at Albert Einstein. And another person who is also a very famous and uh, he's no longer with us said, if you have uh, got to find, you have to got to find what you love. So if you really love to teach and you love to go and teach abroad, uh, like in the United States, do what you believe is great work. And the only way to do great work is to love what you do. So do not give up. Do not change career. If you are a teacher, just because uh, you feel that you are not successful. If you haven't found it yet, keep looking and don't settle. As with all the matters of the heart, you will know when you find it. And like any great relationship, it just gets better and better as the years rolls on. So keep looking. So it's the same thing. If you love to go to the United States and that is the, the kind of work that you would like to do in your life. So just keep looking, keep looking, do not give up, okay? And also Bill Gates said, do not compare yourself with anyone in this world. If you do so, you are insulting yourself. You don't say like, my co-teacher already left for the United States and I'm still here, or my classmate, uh, you know, we just uh, took the same course and she already left. Do not compare because there is always a perfect time for everyone, okay? So if you started comparing yourself, uh, you are just insulting yourself. Just focus on your dream and focus on developing your skills and yourself. So that is the focus that I am uh, wanted to tell you. So look at your vision, look far ahead and do not lose track on your vision. Okay, so focus is the key word and of course the motivation. And you have to know also, is your ladder of success leaning against the right wall? So before you even start, climbing your ladder, you need to know 
if you are leaning on the right wall or you are moving to the right direction, okay? So there are people who achieve their ladder of success ahead of you and some are in the middle and some are just beginning. We all have our own ladder to climb and we all have our own ladder of success. So just believe in yourself and you will get there, okay? And each one, each individual has a different route. There are so many different routes that we need to take. Even though all of us are teachers, we took different routes, but it means you are all going to the same goal. Like if your goal is to teach in the United States, no matter how different your route is, you will still get there. I'm going to show you some examples, okay? Some people, they have short ladder and they can always, you know, get there fast. And some, they even have a steep ladder and it, it's so difficult to climb in a very steep ladder. There are so many obstacles and fear of falling. And some, their ladder of success have even extension, you know. You feel like you're getting there, but all of a sudden, you're not yet. You need to extend your ladder to get there. And some, they need to try different ladders before they even find the real ladder of success for themselves, okay? So let's try an example. What if one person has a short ladder and the goal is to teach in the United States? That is the ultimate goal of the ladder of success, teach in the United States. So how are you going to get there? with uh, the short ladder and, and, and you're very lucky if your ladder is that short. So it means like you are already a licensed teacher with two years experience at least or more, then um, you are already on the first step. It means you are qualified for the visa to apply for J1 because the requirements for J1 is you are at least a licensed teacher uh, for two years uh, with two years experience so what do you need to do after that when you're ready you just need to find your employer keep applying submit application and of course pass the interview okay so you are already on the second step find a job and pass the interview and then of course when someone offered you a job you just accept the job offer and you're there already you can already uh, teach in the United States, just complete the documentations needed. So that is just a very short ladder, isn't it? And it's so good to see that your ladder of, of success is just uh, within your reach and easy to climb. What, what about those people with medium ladder size, just like this, has more steps? Let's find out. So it's the same goal. The goal is to teach in the United States. That is what you want to achieve. But what if you are a newly graduate of education? You have the bachelor's degree in education. Can you apply right away? Definitely not because uh, at least for the J-1 visa requirement, you should have a, a, at least a license in your home country and have uh, two years full-time teaching experience. So at least you are already on the first step. You are a newly graduate and you are a bachelor, you have a bachelor degree in education. So what would be the next step? Of course, you need to take your licensure. So once you pass your licensure, you can find a job and work at least for two years. That is the minimum requirements, but you know, you can work as much as you want, but if you are in a hurry to apply, then you are already qualified. And then all you need to do is apply and get a job offer and you can teach in the United States. So those are the ladder that you need to climb towards your success. If you have a medium ladder, you know, there are a few steps to take, but it is reachable, okay? And what if you have a tall ladder just like other people? Let's find out. Has many steps 
And the same goal, the ultimate goal is uh, to teach in the United States. That is your uh, ladder of success. And teaching in the United States is still up there. So what are the steps that you need to take if you are a graduate of a non-teaching job? You know, I receive a lot of questions in my uh, YouTube channel asking, I am not a teacher, but I would like to be a teacher and teach in the United States. What will I do? So this is the case. Uh, those people have like quite a tall ladder and uh, needs to take some steps before they get to their ladder of success or reach their goal. So if you are a graduate of a non-teaching degree, you can at least decide to take at least 18 units of education. Because I believe if you have 18 units of education, let's say you are a physical therapist or a BS biology graduate or economics graduate, those are non-teaching job. You can at least take 18 uh, units of education in the university and you are qualified to take your license sure already to become a licensed teacher. So that is the second step. And another step or another route, some people, uh, they will not take 18 units, but they will proceed with master's degree in education. And some people, they uh, would like to specialize in special education because that is also highly uh, in demand in the United States. So that is a different route in order for you, those that are non-teaching degree in their bachelor's to at least become a licensed teacher. And definitely once you completed those uh, education units or education degree, then you need to take your licensure and then get a teaching job at least for two years. So you, your steps are quite longer compared to the other people. But you know, if you see the ladder, you're getting there, you know, you're almost there to reach your dream. It takes probably two to three years and there's no shortcut in life. We need to take those steps to be able to get there. Okay, like if you start on the first step of the ladder, you cannot just jump to the end. You need to follow the steps one by one, slowly but surely. And then uh, if you have already, if you are already a licensed teacher with two years experience or plus, then that is the time you can apply for a job. You are already highly qualified and qualified for the visa. Keep applying, submit as much application, and of course, you will be uh, selected any, any time soon because you are already highly qualified and you took all the steps to build yourself and your credentials. And of course, once you are offered a job, get that offer, and fly to the United States, okay? So those are just examples of the ladder of success. The ladder of success has different routes. It depends on where you start. It depends on uh, what your credentials are, okay? But do not give up. Never give up on your dream because winners never quit, only quitters, okay? And the quitters, they never win. So the key word is don't give up. So good luck to all of you. You have to start uh, taking that first step to reach your goal and um, take the challenge on your ladder of success, okay? So I hope you learned something from uh, my video today and I wish you good luck and uh, Take that first step to your ladder of success and make sure your ladder is leaning to the right wall and moving to the right direction. So I would like to request if you can subscribe to my channel because I will be uh, publishing more videos that are helpful. And you can also review some of my past videos, especially those that are applying for a job. I have some interview tips there as well. So please like and subscribe to my channel and you can share it to your friends as well so they can uh, also have uh, 
you know, vision and success in the future or whatever. And, and you know, this example of ladder of success, I just use teaching in the United States as an example, but you can use this ladder of success in any goal you wanted to put on the top of your ladder, okay? So thank you and bye for now and to God be the glory. See you next time.